When you walk the aisles at ISSA Show North America, or when looking for equipment to increase productivity without sacrificing quality, you can't help but notice the options with autonomous equipment. And to talk about this today, I'm pleased to introduce Gary Ashers, the Executive Vice President of the Institutional and After Sales Business Unit at Karcher North America Incorporated. Gary, welcome. Thank you. It's good to be here. So we're going to talk about equipment and Karcher makes equipment, makes good equipment. But you know, Gary, the industry has come a long way with innovation. And when you think about that in recent years, even more so with autonomous equipment. So talk about this. How much is Karcher involved in this type of technology? Uh, autonomous equipment is everywhere. I think everywhere you look in day-to-day -day life, you see autonomous examples all around you. And as part of that, Karcher is heavily involved in this autonomous space as well. We're continuing to develop solutions for the markets in which we serve. Uh, we already launched two autonomous applications, a vacuum and a scrubber that are used in mid-range applications and serve as a variety of different floor surfaces. Uh, additionally, uh, in a few months, we'll also be launching a new product platform that automatically refills and dumps the water that it collects. By doing that, that makes it even more of a hands-off, truly autonomous type application. Furthermore, Karcher continues to look at other ways to enhance the capabilities of autonomous, which also relates to certain software solutions that we can introduce into the market as well. These software solutions allow our autonomous equipment to interact and engage with other autonomous solutions that may exist within a customer environment. Well, that sounds pretty cool, filling and dumping the water and all that. So yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> You got to be proud of that technology that's coming up. It's fantastic. Yeah. It's yeah, really a it game changer for the industry. Yeah. Because that, that's a big deal. That's a big deal. Um, let me ask this. You might think it's kind of a funny question, but I have a reason. Why so much focus on autonomous equipment and how valuable is that to the end user? And I ask this because some may think that this is going to replace people. Yeah, it's a common uh, concern that we hear from the customer base. And, and not all, unlike when robotics was really introduced back into manufacturing 20, 30 years ago. Um, really, from our customer base, what we hear, the major challenge that they encounter now is finding people to do the work. It's the availability of the workforce. And that's one of the areas, really, that these autonomous solutions help to address. Uh, we promote our autonomous solutions as more of a cobotics type environment where the machine complements the work of the operator. It doesn't replace them. The operator is still needed to help manage the equipment and monitor the equipment. But having the autonomous solution there allows them to focus on other cleaning activities while the autonomous equipment goes about its cleaning routine. Okay. Yeah, I've heard people talk about that. They're concerned about staff reduction, layoffs, and I've not seen it. And what you describe is makes perfect sense. Let's touch on large footprint cleaning, like warehouses. Um, how's this going to help with that? And what challenges does the industry face with those types of situations? Yeah, warehousing is a great example where autonomous has been in use for some time. Uh, there's a lot of autonomous equipment there. You see it with the uh, online fulfillment centers right now, a lot of that is very much hands-off and driven by autonomous equipment. One of the real benefits or, or needs, sorry, for the autonomous environment is you need to make sure that environment is clean. If that equipment is getting dirty, if the sensors are getting dusty, that affects your productivity in that environment. So maintaining a clean environment is critical to the success of some of these autonomous fulfillment centers that we see. And what better way to really help keep an environment clean than to use autonomous equipment to clean the environment in which it operates. Another great example as well would be large area cleaning, uh, convention spaces, for example, wide open areas that uh, require a long cleaning time and have a relatively uncomplicated layout. This is an area where the autonomous solutions really fit in well because it takes away that time consuming activity of cleaning these wide open spaces. 
Yeah, Gary, you know, I come from a cleaning background and I remember looking at miles of cleaning surfaces and I'm mm. like, oh no, I don't think equipment complains. That... Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, let's get technical a little bit. I have a kind of a several part question here. Talk about how all this equipment works, how smart it is, and what powers it, and what you're most proud of. Yeah, I think one of one of the real benefits, and one thing we often promote, is when this equipment is being used in its autonomous mode, it's actually a lot safer than being used in manual mode, where you have an operator on there. Uh, the autonomous machine doesn't get distracted. It's not looking at its cell phone. It's not looking around at the environment. Uh, it will always choose the safe option if it encounters any kind of issue during that cleaning cycle. So it's always going to choose safety over anything else. If it can't resolve an issue, it's going to notify the operator. Uh, you'll get a notification on cell phones, on, on, on through the web portal. It can even take a photograph of what that obstruction is that's causing the issue. So that operator is really armed to understand what's causing the issue for that autonomous piece of equipment. So, so we truly look at this as a very safe, proven technology here. And as I said, often safer than the, the operators that would normally be using this equipment. And uh, as part of the solution that we offer, that comes with a licensing agreement with Brain Corporation. Uh, the benefit to that license is Brian has the expertise and has had years of experience here developing this software. Those applications are constantly being, the functions are constantly being improved and updated. Security updates are, are constantly sent through. All of this is done remotely to the machine and is very transparent to the operators. So uh, Brain has been a great partner in this area here in bringing this autonomous solutions to life within this uh, this type of application. Well, Gary, I'm sure that this these high tech solutions using autonomous equipment are an investment. Can you speak to budgets and options our viewers would have to use the equipment? Yeah, we've got a few different ways that really our customers can start implementing some of these autonomous solutions. Uh, the first way, obviously, you can purchase the equipment. Uh, we offer the equipment for purchase. It comes with a three-year or a five-year software and service agreement with that. Uh, that provides standard maintenance and software upgrades and enhancements over the life that you own that equipment. Uh, so that's a very popular avenue for a lot of our customers to pursue. Uh, we also offer lease options. We have various options when it comes to leasing that equipment. That's beneficial in that it helps spread those costs over time. Uh, it's a big initial investment and leasing provides a way to break that down into more of a monthly payment plan. And last but not least, and we're just launching this right now, we also offer these units as long-term rental uh, applications as well. So. The benefits there with rental is it's worry-free. There's no licensing commitment. We offer this for three, three months, six months, or one-year commitments. And these are great applications for many different customers, uh, especially building service contractors where they may be against a fixed contract. And the rental gives them a lot more flexibility about when they bring this equipment and when they return the equipment. And it's also beneficial for customers that just want to prove out autonomous, get comfortable with it, uh, make sure it's a good fit and that they recognize the return on the investment. So rental is a great option there without the requirement to invest into a three-year commitment as well. So rental is up and running. Uh, as I say, we're launching that uh, right now. And those, I think, are three great ways of, of really getting introduced to autonomous solutions. Yeah, Karcher's made it easy to do business. So that's that's great to hear. Yep. No matter what type of organization you might be, who's those that are watching this program. All right, Gary, in closing, just tell us what you want people to do now. Yeah, or I think I, I think, you know, obviously if there's interest here in these autonomous solutions from Karcher, uh, the first thing to do is to reach out to your Karcher representative or your dealer. Um they can help you assess your application, make sure that it's a good fit for the environment. 
Autonomous doesn't work everywhere and we want to make sure that the application is right. And we can help you with that assessment to make sure it is a good fit. Uh, we can also then look to set up a demo. We will come out and show the equipment operating within your environment, uh, educate your team on how it works, how to program it, the capabilities of the equipment, just to build that confidence level. So that's some of the areas here that we like to promote and support the customers really to get them comfortable with these autonomous solutions. So reaching out to the Karcher rep, to a Karcher dealer is the best way to get introduced there. And for more information on that, you can go to our website, and uh, that's www.karcher.com forward slash US. All right, Gary, well, you made it easy. So all those watching now can take advantage of this type of technology and make their work easier and better. Excellent, thanks for the time.